dinnerware results video. All right, here's what we have so far. I'm pretty happy with the effects out of the kiln. I just hope you're happy with the how much they match what you might have already, or what you do have already, I apologize. I'm really glad I did spray the glaze, the ash glaze on here. You can see there's some ash from the wood kiln, but this is the sprayed effect. So it gave a little more variation to the uh, backside. We have a Labor Day sale coming up at our studio this weekend, and we're in high gear on that. So probably won't get to processing your plates for another week. Sorry about that, but uh, it's about as fast as I can go with what we're doing. I did make extras of each one just to pick the best set. So I just wanted to give you a quick video update, but then I will send a stills where you look at and so you can pick the set that you really want to have versus uh, me just picking plates randomly unless you want me to do that. I think mine might be slightly shinier, more glossy than yours. I'm not, I don't know for sure. There's a real beautiful one with incidental ash that they got into the plates. When they were fired, they were stacked lip to lip like this. Um, and they got through the crack and, and got in here. And not, nothing wrong with that. I love that. But um, kind of unique on that one. So next stage is just kind of buffing these with some diamond sandpaper. So get rid of rough spots, making sure this foot is level and smooth so it doesn't scratch your countertop or your uh, dinner table. And then we can start talking about uh, meetup. I think it was in Eau Claire um, and or shipping. So hope you have a good Labor Day weekend. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this isn't too long to get through to you or through email.